of India to three countries, Gabon, Senegal and Qatar. We are currently uh, in Libreville, Gabon. We've had a series of conversations today in the first half of the day. I have uh, on the dais with me Secretary ER, Sri Damuravi, who will give a sense uh, to all of you on the conversations uh, from today. We also have with us Joint Secretary Central and uh, West Africa, Sevela Nayak Sir, and uh, Ambassador Raman Kumar Verma, uh, who will uh, basically also add on to uh, the conversations here. Um, over to you, sir, for some opening remarks. Thereafter, we can take questions. Yeah. Well, uh, good afternoon uh, to all of you. Uh, just to uh, a brief overview of uh, Honorable Vice President's visit to the first leg of his uh, tour, uh, which is Gabon. And today, Honorable Vice President had very extensive interaction with the leadership of Gabon. Uh, he had uh, <coughs> he called on the president of uh, Gabon, uh, Ali Bongo Odimba, uh, who had visited India in the past on two occasions. Uh, president warmly welcomed uh, Honorable Vice President to his country, which is the first visit by a high-level visit from India to, to Gabon, which is actually in line with the Prime Minister's broad vision for Africa, which is prioritizing Africa uh, uh, for India. Uh, so it is in that context these visits to both Gabon and Senegal are taking place. Today's interaction have been extremely stimulating uh, covering uh, various uh, areas for cooperation. Gabon is truly looking for enhancing partnership with India, want to partner India to be able to drive the emergent Gabon, the vision of President 2025, uh, wherein they feel that it's time for them to diversify the economy and need partners like India particularly in the energy sector. They have a large oil, uh, gas, minerals, uh, uh, forest wealth, and they want to uh, move beyond in the direction uh, of value addition here. So there they see a great opportunity uh, for two countries uh, to enhance this partnership. Earlier in the day, uh, Foreign Minister of uh, um, <coughs> Congo visited, Gabon visited, uh, called on Vice President, Honorable Vice President, uh, and there was uh, uh, a call, visit by Honorable Vice President to the uh, National Assembly where he met with the President of the National Assembly and also President of uh, Senate. Uh, and thereafter, a uh, uh, one on one meeting, tete -tete, with the Prime Minister of uh, uh, Gabon. And then a delegation level talks, wherein uh, two MOUs were signed. One MOU is uh, for cooperation between the, <coughs> the Foreign Service Institute, Sushma Swaraj Institute of uh, uh, SSIFS, and, uh, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Gabon for training of uh, diplomats uh, in India. The second uh, agreement uh, is for establishment of a joint commission between the two countries. So joint commission mechanisms are generally set up to review bilateral relations and uh, take stock of the things and then take uh, new measures to enhance uh, relationship. Uh, that is broadly about the interactions uh, today. Um, and then there was a banquet lunch hosted by the Prime Minister uh, to Indian De Honorable Vice President and the delegation uh, in which the cabinet colleagues of the Prime Minister also participated. Now, if I have to go into details of what happened, uh, and I'll touch upon uh, essentially on few items that are very important uh, in our relationship. Of course, this is the year also when India and Gabon are the holding non-permanent membership of the UN Security Council, where uh, issues of importance and multilateral level were covered. Um, so there was interest to work together on climate change, 
um, terrorism uh, um, and also the reform of the UN Security Council and the UN reform in general. So that was uh, the, the, the idea that was uh, uh, discussed in terms of the <coughs> uh, multilateral cooperation. In terms of uh, uh, economic partnership, uh, both sides felt that there is, uh, this is the time for uh, uh, working out win-win uh, partnerships. Gabon has a lot of natural resources, but it needs partners. So India and Gabon can work towards uh, doing a mutually beneficial uh, value addition uh, in Gabon, taking advantage of their own natural resources for both sides. Value addition here and Indian economic partnerships can be were welcomed. And also the president himself has said he welcomes Indians to come to this country, to be able to participate in agriculture production, to be able to do manufacturing. They have SEZs, uh, special economic zones, and they're creating uh, these zones to, in order to encourage entrepreneurship from countries like India to come and set up manufacturing bases. So the president uh, was very clear that uh, he wants Indians to come here and uh, do these activities. Another area of interest is in the training. They want, uh, Gabon is interested in, uh, in, in skill development. Uh, as the part of the uh, emergent Gabon, they need to also look at uh, how India is able to enhance the capacity building here uh, uh, in this country. And these are the ideas we will be uh, <coughs> discussing. Solar Alliance, Gabon is a founding member, so they feel that in the energy sector, India can set up certain uh, solar energy plants here uh, and to be able to do renewable energy because, again, both sides have deep interest in the climate change producing green energy. So <clears throat> this is about... Uh, President interaction, uh, Vice, Honorable Vice President interaction with the President as far as the National Assembly is concerned. Of course, both sides reiterated the, 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 the commitment to democracy and the fact that India is, is a large democracy uh, where Honorable Vice President also being the, the, the chairman of the uh, upper house uh, who carries with him that kind of uh, uh, weight 750 members of the parliament um, and representing 1.4 billion is a very, very huge uh, <clears throat> image. Uh, and for Gabon, uh, countries like both are democratic countries with uh, principles and values being upheld. Uh, they believe that it's important to have exchanges more often of this nature uh, and uh, also set up parliamentary visits, uh, friendship groups. These were all discussed. Uh, and uh, uh, Honorable Vice President uh, presented uh, two copies of the original Constitution of India to both the President of the National Assembly and the President of Senate. Um, and the, um, if I have to touch about the Honor uh, Honorable Vice President's meeting with uh, Prime Minister, of course, these were delegation-level talks, so many of, ish, many of the items uh, were discussed in detail. Uh, including the, the energy cooperation and how India can be uh, an enduring partner in, the, in energy. Already some of our few Indian companies are present here, but there is greater scope because this is still a virgin area and they feel that uh, India can become uh, an enduring partner in the energy uh, exploration, uh, oil and gas. So... Um, Again, I mentioned to you uh, various areas, which is the mining, agriculture, medicine, pharma, value addition here. Uh, accelerate economic transformation of Gabon. I think that has come out very clearly. India can be an effective partner in that acceleration of the economic partnership. It is not anymore looking at a long-term vision, but they want to expedite, which is why the emergent Gabon vision is 2025. So President of Gabon himself is driving that uh, vision. Um, uh, and then there was a talk about various sectors. There was a presentation made by the, uh, uh, their expert uh, on the development cooperation and sectors where India can come in. So we went through that very carefully. I think in the afternoon business-to-business -business interaction, some of these areas will be touched. Um, <clears throat> so this is briefly what I have to tell you, uh, and if you have any questions, my colleagues can also answer. Thank you.
Thank you so much, sir. That has indeed given us a brief overview of uh, how successful the uh, conversations were. Uh, I'll open the floor to questions now. Um, right. Please, uh, just for the record, uh, please introduce yourself and your agency. Uh, already, uh, Indian companies are present here, but the number is not much. It's about 54, 55. I think accurate number, my ambassador will uh, correct on that. But uh, the oil companies are also present, but they are in the exploration uh, arena. If you see our trade, uh, in about five years' time, it is actually more than doubled. We were about 440 million in 1718, and now in 2021, it's clocked 1.12 billion. Uh, are of course overwhelmingly in favor of uh, Gabon because of the oil imports by India. Because you should also see that energy security point of view, Gabon can be a very interesting partner for us. Uh, as I said, this area is still not fully tapped. The potential is enormous. So for exploration of oil and gas, there is huge scope. What the president has been had said in the morning was, uh, you know, they have huge natural resources, particularly manganese. Um, which is, again, a very important uh, natural resource for industry, a growing economy like ours. Uh, this is a natural uh, resource which is useful for us. He talked about uh, uh, forest area, you know, where we can use the wood. Uh, and already, I think there is uh, some of the Indian companies are setting up in the furniture industry. And there, there is also uh, f making of the furniture, and also there is skilling is going on. And we have to see, when we visit the SZ tomorrow, we want to see actually how that works and how we can help uh, those companies to enhance uh, that potential. So agriculture is clearly one area where the prime minister and the president have said that they have huge land here. The population is small at 2.3 million only. So they want more Indians to come. Uh, we have ag agriculture expertise, uh, and India has certain uh, talent uh, solutions uh, for uh, food production. So whether suitable to this terrain and this area and climatic zones, whether we can come in to, to, to bring in uh, our expertise to produce agriculture grains, food grains, and not only for Gabon, but also to be able to export outside. This is what President himself has said in the morning. So I see there is a huge potential there. And the similarly, uh, Prime Minister has mentioned about pharmaceuticals. So we are traditionally sending pharmaceuticals from India to here and in large numbers. But whether value addition can actually take place is, is what they're interested in. So we will, when we go back, we will have to talk with our industry. I think in the evening, uh, in business interaction will give us some sense and some ideas as to how we can fructify uh, these uh, uh, initiatives uh, of, the, of the vision of the president uh, and to take forward from there. So basically, I feel there is scope. Uh, we'll have to work with the industry to make this uh, happen. Uh, sir, my name is Sushil. I'm from ANSF. How hmm. do you see the cultural relationship between both countries? Well, you know, uh, first of all, uh, there is diversity on both sides. I think that is what is the strength of both the countries here. And it's a Francophone country. And Engli India, we are largely English-speaking. Um, and the the both countries have preserved the diversity they 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 believe in the tradition of preserving diversity and uh, respecting that tradition uh, so in terms of cultural engagement i am we haven't had that much of uh, uh, interaction but maybe ambassador or jace can throw some light if you have any has there been any interaction in the cultural arena there have not been much interactions between our two countries in cultural arena. And uh, that could be mainly because uh, till uh, 10 years before, there were only a handf handful of Indians here. And the country is very small, as uh, Secretary uh, Sir has added, that uh, it's a Frank uh, fr uh, Francophone country. So, of course, and uh, being a small country, they, they are more... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, more oriented towards uh, Europe, France, and uh, 
other countries, fr French speaking countries, then English speaking country. But uh, since uh, it's, uh, I mean, Gabon has uh, already applied for uh, Commonwealth membership, so we hope that uh, now, I mean, they will be mo uh, their orientation will go towards us also as a member of Commonwealth. On uh, culture aspect, I'm not really sure that how much I can contribute, but uh, there are several ethnic groups in the country over uh, 20, 25, and they all are uh, uh, small, small numbers. And the one major ethnic group uh, uh, is uh, Fenge. So this is about 35% represents. But they have different cultures. Like in India, we have a diverse uh, uh, culture. They also have a similar. So it matches to, to some extent. And when Indians are living here, slowly moving into, I think, uh, promoting uh, uh, interaction between the two countries' cultures. I think we have to take forward uh, this, uh, 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 the basic concept. Thank you. From Gabon. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, phosphate uh, team had come. Uh, come according to Joint Secretary. But I'm not sure if the, the mines are there or not, but I think it's worth exploring because this is a virgin area. Not many have come here to explore that. Manganese is definitely um, is there. That's, uh, geologists have given those reports. But in the case of West Africa, uh, there's a lot of potential for phosphate. Um, that's what, you know, the Morocco, Senegal, you know, Senegal, again, is a huge potential for us. So when Vice, Honorable Vice President visits that country tomorrow, this will be one area which will come up for discussion. And again, we have to see this in the long-term interest of our own requirement. We would be needing uh, a growing agriculture economy like ours. We would be needing uh, huge quantities of phosphate, uh, urea, uh, and um, ammonia, wherever it may be available. So, uh, especially so in today's time when the global supply chains of fertilizers have been disrupted. So, in the crisis in, in Ukraine uh, is now actually uh, giving us that kind of uh, uh, determination to, to go ahead and look for uh, wherever this source, sourcing is possible for the most. So, we will be looking at that option very closely. So then, uh, I think, you know, Honorable Vice President's visit, you know, the first by uh, Vice President, also at that level, a high-level uh, visit by India ever. So that itself is, you know, provides impetus to relationship. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, Indians coming here has been small numbers, or if only in the recent times. They have moved into this part of the world looking at opportunities at a time when Goban has welcomed outsiders to come to this country to become part of their uh, economic growth. Uh, so Indians have come in this time. So when they're so far away from India and this remote uh, region in terms of uh, distance from our point of view, uh, this opening of the relationship with Gabon, India between our two countries, is a great impetus and a push. And I think it's an also emotional connect. No? When Indians live here, see a vice president yesterday, we have seen how many of them were actually welcoming the uh, Honorable Vice President as he was entering the hotel. So there's that emotional connect with the country. And when he is a symbol, you know, he becomes suddenly a symbol of that emotional connect. Uh, so uh, they are very enthusiastic to see Honorable Vice President and the Indian delegation. I'm sure, you know, in the days to come, more visits of this nature, both at the minister level, the official level, will deepen that uh, emotional bond uh, and give them a lot of strength. So uh, I think uh, when in the evening program, uh, that assurance, when Honorable Vice President addresses the Indian community, they'll be reassured uh, that India is with them. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That was uh, uh, very helpful. I hope uh, we continue to uh, see our uh, friends from the media and uh, they continue to uh, seek uh, clarifications, questions, uh, anything that you all have. We are always here. Uh, stay tuned uh, for updates as the visit progresses.